our nation and the world was watching the peaceful transition of power. And as the President said, the transition and the balance of power from Washington to the citizens of the United States. Member, some members of the media were engaged in deliberately false reporting. For all the talk about the proper use of Twitter, two instances. Inside Syria under the control of Assad. This statement from Captain Jeff Davis uh, talks about the strike being conducted using Tomahawk land attack missiles from the destroyers USS Porter and USS Ross. There's a very good chance this is being done because the communist Chinese dictator, President Xi, is meeting tonight with Trump and just arrived. That's a very, very serious message to them over the North Korea Peninsula. Tillerson came out today and said, we don't want war with Syria, Al-Qaeda is the main issue, ISIS, and I think that's going back to his campaign promises, so I think we're seeing some Today, attacked the story of high-level campaign advisor having frequent communications with Russians known to U.S. intelligence. Those advisors, of course, include Michael Flynn, whom President Trump fired as his national security advisor on Monday night after Flynn was shown to have lied to the public and to the vice president about the contents of his phone call with the Russian ambassador in December. The issue, pure and simple, came down to a matter of trust. And the president concluded that he no longer had the trust of his national security advisor. That was White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer on Tuesday. But today, President Trump gave a quite different explanation. Michael Flynn, General Flynn, is a wonderful man. I think he's been treated very, very unfairly by the media. As I call it, the fake media in many cases. The media, of course, did not fire General Flynn. President Trump did. And what the media did do was reveal to the nation that General Flynn had lied to the country and to the Trump team, including Vice President. paper you're reading, but I guess that would be another example of, as you say, fake news. I'm worried about censorship, I'm, I'm government censorship of the, of the internet, and, and, and trying to censor people like ourselves. Go ahead, Adam. I think that if you want to talk about fake news, I'd rather go to the experts. I'd rather talk about <laughs> stockpiles of weapons of mass destruction in, in Saddam's Iraq. Um, and you don't even need to go back that far. You can go to moderate rebels whose acts of moderation include beheading 12-year-old boys. On facts, not advocacy. And I expect our agencies to adhere to that ruling, to that Justice Department opinion. This has been a long-standing practice of the federal government to use uh, these uh, types of videos. The Agricultural Department, as I understand, has been using these videos for a long period of time. The Defense Department, other departments have been doing so. It's important that, the, that they be based on the guidelines set out by the 
Justice Department. Now, I also, I think it'd be helpful at local stations. In fact, right here, there's no President Kennedy in the car. He's not in the car right now. There is no President Kennedy in the car right now. Then it goes pumpkin head after a few more frames, and then the front blows out of it like an old tire. <laughs> All right. There's no President Kennedy in that car right now. So you're you're thinking to yourself, man, this guy's gone crazy. You just you know, you, you literally just threw your dreidel out the window and your yamaka on the six-day war video.